Helen Lloyd has returned to Washington for the last week of Congress. But before leaving, she took a parting shot at her third district congressional opponent, Harold Coker. And Rich Everett talked with both candidates today. Uh, Rich is in the newsroom right now. Rich, I understand there were some words exchanged perhaps about the issue of jobs. She did have a few things to say. He had a few things to say about her as well. Now, here's what happened. Before she left for Washington this morning, Lloyd wanted to draw a clear distinction between her and Coker's positions on bringing jobs to Tennessee. Now, now, Lloyd says Coker just isn't committed enough, and she points as proof of her own commitment to projects like the Chattanooga Business Incubator, a project which helps small businesses get off the ground. She says she's four square for it, but that Coker has flip-flopped on it. The public record shows that Mr. Coker voiced his objection to the project by saying that when he went into his business, that nobody paid the franchise fee for me. His flip-flop occurred when he saw that the vote was going the, uh, against him. Bud Coker doesn't see it that way at all. I don't see my position wavering at all. When I'm in the process of deciding on an issue, I may ask a lot of real serious questions. Coker says that his questioning of the incubator project may have given the appearance that he was against it, but he points out that when it came time for a vote, he voted for it and now supports it, just like Lloyd. Now, the business incubator may be the only issue these two agree on right now. There is another issue, a serious one, on which they are poles apart. I'll tell you what they had to say about uh, each other on that tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. Rich, I would guess the sparring is going to continue the closer we get to election time. And I imagine it's going to uh, become harder hitting as we get there, too. Okay, thank you. Okay.